Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. We're talking about breakups and just the right way to do it. And I think for me, this is what has just blown me away, that you can actually break up with someone, but just be nice. So there are things that attracted you to them. Layer that up first. I like, you know, I fell in love with you because of blah, 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 blah. But then there's the, the, the thing that you're leaving him because of. Wish all the best. No, na pengine unampatia hope here to be friends. So that's the sandwiching bit. So you can actually do that. It's very, I think it's very PR politically, right? Exactly. And it doesn't feel that bad. Exactly. Well, it will be painful, Should but not Should you ever meet when one of you is the panel and the other one is the interviewee? Yes. There will be no revenge to execute. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. I told you to respect exits because they prepare you for the next thing. That's true. In this life, when you are being defeated after every transaction, business interview, mm -hmm. and usually there's overwhelming emotions. If you want, you want to prove it to the opponent. Just say, whoa! Yeah. The wisdom is to calm down and actually try to extend a hand of friendship. Yeah. If you lost, you want to end with a punitive swing. You will see me. You will cast. Mm. Overcome that natural tendency. That's yeah. ego. Mm. All right. I like that you call it natural. <laughs> because it's the first instinct you call it. Yes. Exactly. But you leave me. Nobody. <laughs> Calm down. So this way, you can even attend each other's weddings and functions in future. Okay. And you can still maintain camaraderie. Mm. Even if not friendship. Mm -hmm. Just camaraderie. No thick blood. Because this life is... A, nowadays, we are a global village. You don't know what might happen. You might cross each, other, each other's path soon. Yes. Have you noticed the awkwardness of if somebody dies and you are not talking? You had beef. You are left haunted. Yes. The dead has gone, but you're wondering, did I miss a chance to? Yes, maybe I should have just. <laughs> maybe. So. Yeah. Learn life can be funny that way. Mm -hmm. And try as much as possible. You're not saying you go too far in never being decisive. Okay. As much as this fact, make it, it's a fact that we have to reckon with. It's not personal beef, so to speak. I've re in fact, when it comes to breaking up, you don't bring up the ugly issues too much. Just state it as a fact. That okay. we cannot coexist peacefully. Mm. After much analysis, both me and you, I think we knew <laughs> this is about when. And I and I thought we should spare time. For me, I can spend one more day here. I need to go. I hope sooner or later you yourself, you'll also be able to pick yourself up and go. Because I have noticed you're, you're, you're a very resilient woman. Mm. You are hopeful. You keep trying things. This might make you cry. And I wish there was a way I could alleviate that. But some, some of the things are inevitable. You have good friendships, you have a life, and I hope that you'll also shine in this life. I'll cheer you on. I don't know what you think about this. You know how those people, ghosting now comes into play. And let me just read a text here from Mary Maria. So Mary Maria says, it happened to me once. We just stopped communicating, seeing each other, and whatever else we used to do. No questions, no dramas, no such as what happened or it was your fault. It was hard at first, but looking back now, it was the best ending. You know how people, we've talked about, you know, how you face them and how you don't face them if you feel like they are violent towards you or they can be violent. What about the silence? You, there are people who prefer slow fade because it's safe. Yeah. Remember, naturally, we avoid confrontations and conflict because they churn up difficult emotions. We feel like somebody is rejecting us directly. Mm -hmm. We feel like somebody is hurting us, somebody is attacking us. Naturally, we avoid conflict. Yeah. When, when we hear danger, we try to run away. We don't try to run to go and fight it. Mm -mm. They are our instinct, even emotionally, <coughs> run away. is to flee. Yeah. So we have a tendency to run away com from conflict. If it's a, it was a long distance relationship, the silence can serve it. Mm. But if you are in the same space and you needed closure, yeah. When you, you know when you are away and a month and has gone and we have not communicated, one of you can simply decide to do a, do a, 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 a memorial. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a month since. <laughs> All the best in life. <laughs> but, but if the memorial is not necessary, hey, you, you, you place a wreath mm. on the ghost relationship yes. and say, <laughs> so long. <Yeah. laughs> but the one thing we clearly don't want you to be, ghosting is very cowardly. Okay. If this person was good enough for you to be with, surely they should be good enough for you to accord them the decency of closure. Mm. You should not assume because you decided and left quietly, they will also decide and live quietly. 
Some of them are left wondering, what did I do wrong? What should I correct? Was it my fault? One reason you need to close in a conversation is to make sure you tell them exactly what it was so that they don't add. Some people have a lot of guilt. You found them when they were struggling in self-esteem. Okay. Now, if you leave them like that, you might injure their self-esteem more. You mm. wouldn't want to be left like that, guessing. Suspense is very tormenting. Mm. Will you come back? What did I, what, what happened? What is the, you know? And then next day here you are doing, some people be haunted with that, by that for life. It's unnecessary to do that. Don't risk that. Even if one-on-one -on -one converse, as I told you, some people are more verbally combative. Don't risk a, an engagement if they are more verbal and they can talk you down. Okay. You can do a voice note. Because voice note, there's no exchange. <laughs> you deliver the message, a sandwich of uh, what I, the positive side and the decisive thing yes. and then the hopeful thing. Yes. <laughs> the sandwich. And then you deliver it there. Oh, what's up message? You know, sometimes written communication is permanent. Yeah. People can refer to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, refer to <laughs> exactly above. Exactly, and if uh, sometimes it's also good to hear their feedback. Okay, let them say something yeah. if they want to. Some people will go quiet. You can't force mm. them to talk. No, you can't. The day you communicate your decision to a person and they decide to keep quiet, you are finished your work. Don't sit there confused. No. I want you see you are not coming here for negotiation. No, you're coming for an, for an announcement. That's the other thing because you expect most of the times you get into it being like I want them to talk back. Why exactly. Are they talking back, but you're not in there for a fight. I but saw, that I, means you're not really done, done, done. I saw one girl who must have been either pre twenty five or one of these immature girls say dating a mature fella is very difficult because he apologizes right away. Now where do I take the anger? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that as well. <laughs> what What do I do? What do I do with all this anger? So. You are prepared <laughs> to come and bust, blast on me. Just go to the gym. <laughs> exactly. Go breathe. Can you? Yeah. She's looking for a place to vent. Yeah. <laughs> but just because I apologize does not mean you don't take out how it hurt mm, you. Mm. You can still say well, how, how the thoughts mm -hmm. went through, the emotions went through. I was to listen to you because I hurt you anyway. You, you should be happy that actually I'm accepting. I'm listening to it. I'm not defending myself. All right. Yeah. Or if you want, take a pillow and scream mm. at it or do something. If you have explosive emotions, can you learn how to control your grenades, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Haya, questions. Uko ready? Yes. Haya, kuna moja hapa nasikia ni agenti. Akwapi, mesema nini? Oh, hey. Good morning, Mikali. Looking great. I'm 22. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm 22. Hi, Zulu. Hi. And chose to, bro to break up with my first boyfriend after insights from Zulu. <laughs> Hi again, Zulu. <laughs> but we decided to remain friends and communicate daily through Bible devotions. Hi, Zulu. <laughs> Which we used to do while in the relationship. Should I also cut that away? Are the feelings present or not? You need to take a period of break to make sure you've moved past that relationship. Okay. If you break up today, but tomorrow the things continue as they were. Mm -hmm. That breakup was ceremonial. The emotions are still here. Okay. The momentum is still here. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself if they, if they don't talk to you today, do you feel anything? Do you miss them? Okay. Do you wish to see them with another person? All right. Mm. So one problem with 22 year olds, let me remind them, is that they don't know the guiding principles. Under 25, don't know the guiding principles of life. So they're communicating through Bible devotions. The Bible is just a, a cover up. Mm -hmm. It's that they're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it still exclusive? Why didn't you bring three other people to the WhatsApp group for Bible? Uh -huh. It's still between the two of you. Uh -huh. So it's still the emotions. You just changed the two. Okay. You drop romance, pick the Bible, uh -huh. but romance, romance for, to romance, uh -huh. <laughs> but Ooh, still the same thing. Yes, <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> so it's, it's very important before you resume talking to have a period of redefining yourself, yourself finding yes. new friends. Yeah. Seeing life in a new perspective. Mm. To recollect yourself. If you are emotionally into anything, Mikali, you need time to pull back your emotions. You need time to gather, to recollect again. If you can just break up and continue, okay, so you're done with it. So now, can you take tea today as friends? No. There's no breakup there. No. <laughs> That's a joke. That's childishness. Yeah. If you are truly into it, yes. there will be, as I told you, when you see a cat and a dog after they have an altercation. Yes. In the West, cats and dogs are friends. Mm. In Africa, it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So if there's an altercation, and they, after they fight, what do you see? It performs a, a, a ritual. It stretches, yawns, and shakes itself, mm -hmm. then returns to no more mood. The same way with the breakup. They are really traumatized. They take, they take too much from you. You need a place to stretch and come back and some cry, some tears, reorganize, feel. The, you go through emotions. Every loss has these kind of emotions like shock, denial, grave, gaming. Go through them. Talk to a friend. What was that? What should I learn? At least consolidate the lesson. Yes. Okay.
Okay. Ah, yeah. Hi, Mikali. The show is great. Uh, Mikali Nabenja. I'm Anne from Nairobi. I was dating a certain guy and I found out that he was cheating on me. I was ready to go. The best part is that we went for a breakfast date and discussed on the issue and we agreed on the break. And he even paid for the breakfast. Oh, yeah, I think Alifanya sandwich. Very good. I, mm. If you know the person is mature enough to handle it, yes. there are some people you take them to the hotel mm -hmm. and you will be trending the next day mm. for mm. communicating breakup in a hotel. Yeah. Anticipate how they're likely to react. Yes. Some people say they'll be composed, but you know they won't. Yeah. About forgiveness, mm -hmm. there are some things Mikali, that are not supposed to be forgiven. Okay. You forgive mistakes and weaknesses, okay. but you shall not forgive wickedness and character flow. For example, a person was hiding a child and then suddenly you, re you realize from other sides they have a child. Mm. They start telling you, I knew if I tell you, you run away. Other people even hide a wife. Yes. And this idiot pretend to tell me, I realized later he was married, but we talked and I owned out the issue. <laughs> Galiza, I hear in my inbox, I'm even strong, I don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strong man, Zulu. <laughs> You are. So if you discover a person is hidden such a thing as a baby, yes. or even an abortion, or yes. even that they are married, mm. that's not a mistake, that's a character revelation. You are dealing with a viper. It's like you discover there's a viper under the bed. You mm. say, okay, so I acknowledge it is there and I returned to sleep. No. You flee. You lie. <laughs> Take so, off. So you shall forgive mistakes, weaknesses, not wickedness. No. I think that's powerful. Thank you for that, Zulu. Very good. Um, ha, Chukwapi. Lovely, looking lovely this morning. Zulu, Namikali, Asanti. Zulu just mentioned my case. Got married to this man, had a baby, but as Zulu said, faithfulness came to an end. A lot of other things happened, but then I realized I love me and baby more. I moved out when I was eight months pregnant and until now, it's almost four years later. I have done so much career-wise and well, we, we're not enemies, but wow, we talk like we're really good friends. But let me see if I'm ready to take in his tabia any more kindly. What do you think about Whatever this? made you break up will return. Okay. There are people who come back after a breakup and some of them are few, but it's usually because of maybe they started dating before they were ready and mm. now they have evolved. But mm -hmm. most people, what made you leave is not unreadiness, but their character the incompatibility between yeah. the two of you. Okay. And Mikali, we need to mention that there before being single meant nobody wanted you. So it carried a shame. When you said you're single, but you're already ready for, you're mature enough for marriage, but you have not. It seems that you're not wanted, but you're not like, nobody wanted you. Yeah. Nowadays, it means you know what you want. That's true. You are selective. Mm. You know, you're wait, you're wait, you're, you're willing to, there are many people who want, many things and people who want you, <laughs> but you don't want none of them. Yeah. So you're willing to wait until you find what you want. Mm. Nowadays, I want you to, to make, I want we people to normalize being that is something and single and happy. Hallelujah. Hi. Hello, Mikali. I'm Diana. <laughs> we broke up with my man after a year and it was really painful. I still haven't got, gotten over it, but I realized, I but I resulted to healing my pain in someone else's arms. Am I in the right track? By the fact that you're asking, you already know you're quoting another pain. Mm -hmm. The one who you're healing in his arms, what is their interest? Your emotions, you transferred them here. Yes. You're already expecting them to heal you. They could hurt you more. You don't know them. You're just bleeding. You need to find yourself. Mikali, the way to recover is not to jump from that relationship. No. It's to find your balance. Yeah. Finding your balance does not mean perfection, but it means you stop the bleeding. You you cure. You bandage yourself enough. You might have to move ahead with a limp. A limp means some mistrust issues, mm. some because of the memory of the trauma. Mm -hmm. But hey, you, you're you ready now to return to the market and say, hey guys, how are you? It's been a while. I'm, yeah. I'm back. What is going on here? Yeah. But please take your while and heal. So what, what, what happens with these rebounds is they usually complicate your life more. You get attached again, and when this one breaks, it's a second and debilitating heartbreak. Mm. Debilitating, because it's coming on top of something else. You're, yeah. You feel now rejected by two people, and you begin to think, I must be so useless that two different people could work out like that. Oh, wow. Exactly. So just take your time to heal fast. In fact, it's very important to take breaks between battles. I tell people, life is a series of wars. Yes. Every time you lose, consider it a battle. Retreat. Go regroup yourself. Even if you find a person whom you wanted, remember your emotions are all over now and yeah. you can't tell. You can't even see red flags with a new person. 
because they're looking for somewhere to, to shelter. So t take breaks between battles. In fact, I encourage people not to book two interviews for jobs the same day without mm. some hours in between. Mm. The, the one of them can harass you. You yes. can be put down by very difficult. You can meet a hard, envious people and they ask you, they insult you. They recall things to, from the social media from nowhere and, they, and then you go to the next interview like this. Okay. Life is like that. Don't go to the next. Dating is an interview. Don't go to the next dating when you're already harassed by the other one. In between, even if there's no much time, in yeah. between, meet a friend, process, recall yourself, come, call back your energy, your self-esteem, your self-love, your confidence, and then now enter the next one. That's what's up. Hiya. We have been dating two wife materials. <laughs> okay. For two years, and I'm in a point where I want to lose one and marry another. I'm Kennedy from... Meru Kionyo. <laughs> oh, the guys in Meru, there is a guy here, they are holding two wife <laughs> materials. Please go help him choose. You can carry both of them away. <laughs> or simply take one. So if you think the wife materials and they are so scarce, brothers in Meru. Oh I? my God, good morning, Mikali. <laughs> what a timely topic. So my question is, what if I go to break up with my lady and then during the break, she breaks down and seeks for another chance, promising to change. Do I give her another chance? And this happens a lot. Listen, Mwikali, people promising to change does not mean they have the capacity to change. Most people, mostly by the time you decided to part ways, you had tried the change. Mm. So they should not fall on you, they should fall on their friends. Mm -hmm. Include that in your communication. I know yeah. you need support. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I may not offer that. I also yeah. need the space. Yes. Because you know the emotions between us. Please let a friend comfort you. Can we talk after two months? Sometimes just buy time. Can we talk after two months? By then. Two months will have come back to their senses. Yeah. So then, right now, they're not in their senses. No, they're, they're just not. scared by, yeah. the, by the, the experience of the breakup. But it is needed. You can't be the one leaving and also the one comforting. It's impossible. Ngumu sana. Hi, Mwikali. I'm Omar from Rungai. I really love and appreciate the fact that you inspire the, with the youth very much. I thank you and the Switch uh, fraternity your show, uh, for your show. I have I even got a daily reminder on my phone. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, my lady just left me. I asked her and she said she needed attention. I failed to understand what the attention really what attention what the intent attention really intend. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll just figure it out. For that time she claimed I was very ill and I was under a lot of stress and I had explained to her I can't stop thinking of her. What should I do? Daily I feel more and more downhearted. Please help. Next time to get more accurate advice, tell us the nature of the relationship. Was it a marriage? And tell us the ages of the people involved. That will give mm -hmm. us a, a, how to locate you, yes. what is happening. Yeah. If you say we've been married five years, that gives us context. Yeah. If you say I'm that teacher, is that four be married, da, 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 mm. that will give us context. So okay. this can be anywhere. Yeah. The kind of girl who walks out like that, we don't know, the, is this a woman or mm -hmm. a girl? Mm. Is it her character mm. or her age? Yes. I told you with pre-25, it's not character, no. it's her age. It's age. But if this girl <laughs> behaving that way, she's 29 and they were married two years already, mm -hmm. I, would tell, I, would, I, would, I would tell this brother, that's a woman who has made her decision. Maybe that is who she is. She has displayed her character. Yes. Mikali, the day a person shows you that they can do without you, hmm? don't argue to convince them that you are important. No. You'll be postponing the inevitable. Yeah. That same attitude will keep coming back. Okay. Don't grab to keep anybody. Right. The moment they walk, even if you feel pain, endure your pain and take back, take back, take back the power to you. Take Absolutely. back the ability to live without them. Okay. If they can walk, especially if you are ill, you are struggling. Mm -mm. Now you have seen the true colors. Yes, you have. One final question before yes. I let you go, Zulu. Hi, guys. You look awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I have a question. I have a relationship with a guy.